Jacob Hess here with NextGen T, and I am here with Anthony House, who works at Cisco IT Operations as a network engineer, right? Yes, sir. What's your official, official job title there, Anthony? Uh, network engineer for uh, Premise Ops. The reason why we're talking with Anthony here is because, you know, SD-WAN and just software-defined networking or software-defined anything, as some people like to say, is a huge topic and people like to understand things. So why not kind of hear it from the horse's mouth? We have Anthony here from Cisco IT Operations, and he can actually tell us a little bit about how they deployed SD-WAN within Cisco's own infrastructure. So Anthony can give us kind of a summary of that. And super excited, looking forward to this. So Anthony, take it away, man. Thank you, Jacob. So let me just break it down real quick uh, in terms of site and SLAs. We have platinum sites, which are going to be our large campus sites, critical function sites. Uh, gold, which, you know, not quite as critical, but we still want to keep them up and available, uh, you know, pretty much year round. And then we have our server sites. Uh, so we haven't deployed any SD-WAN at our platinum sites yet. It's coming in the future, but we have concentrated more in the gold and server side. Okay. A couple of so Anthony, these are kind of like different SD-WAN strategies or designs given based on the type of location, is that right? Because they have different applications and things they're doing? Well, different criticalities really. Different criticalities yeah. of information, okay, gotcha. So attack, for example, would probably be considered a platinum. We want to keep that up, we want to serve the customers. Anything that maybe is, you know, generating high amounts of revenue, we want to keep up. You know, a server site, for example, might be something where you know, it's 30 people, uh, you know, in a remote location that if they go down, it's not, you know, terribly critical and it doesn't really hit us in the, in the budget. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So, can you explain a little bit more about uh, Silver and maybe how you deployed it and where you deployed that kind of design? So, yeah. So, uh, Silver, like I said, is going to be some of our smaller sites, less critical, maybe 15 people. If it goes offline, they can all go home and VPN in. Uh, it's not, you know, really customer uh, 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 close. Uh, what we're doing here is we only have one circuit and that's going to be an internet, a DIA link where we're able to split tunnel uh, certain applications out. Otherwise we're just going to build a, 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 a secure tunnel all the way back into our uh, HQ in, in different regions. Okay, so with this design we're actually just looking at direct internet access or going through the Enterprise HQ via a VPN. Yes. And the gold, we have actually uh, MPLS that ties directly back into Enterprise. Again, we have a DIA uh, where we're going to use this just like we did in the silver side where we're going to build a tunnel back to the Enterprise. But again, we're also able to split tunnel certain applications directly off and out to the Internet from the site itself. And this is what's really making it software defined, right? So for those who don't understand SD-WAN and, and how it's software defined, we're actually able to look at the applications. And it's not based on IP address, destination, domain name, right? It's based on the actual application itself. Right. Application so, recognition software that's in the Viptela tool. In the Viptela tool. So that's actually the technology we're using here, right? Or at least they used in their deployment is right. a Viptela tool, which can analyze the traffic leaving the branch location or the site, and it can see what type of application it is, right? And so you can then define in your policies here what you'd like to send either just right out to the internet or what you'd like to send over the MPLS or maybe even over VPN tunnel instead. Right, exactly right. So, you know, to give you guys an example, down below in the access layer where we have QoS, we actually are using those markings to, uh, when we see like voice and video traffic, we actually are saying uh, in, our, in our design, well, we prefer to take the MPLS route as long as that's available. However, we are monitoring that for health, you know, and so if the latency jumps up, let's say to, you know, 150 milliseconds and voice is maybe going to be degraded, it's going to look at that and it's going to automatically start trying to trigger and going out the uh, out the internet path rather just for the voice right voice video or whatever it is whatever policy right like no go ahead i guess my point i guess what i'm trying to get to is on that is you're able to look at it on a per application basis so if just if if the latency is going high uh you, you might want to only move only the voiceover, but still leave other applications running over that MPLS circuit. Is that right? If, if it's going to be customer impacting, like voice and video, which is going to be really latency sensitive, we're going to move it over. For sure. Okay, gotcha. Nice. Well, I think that's a pretty good kind of summary of, of your different strategies and things. I know you guys are still working on this, but awesome, man. That, that is really good. And I appreciate your, your explanation there sure. on, on software-defined WAN. Is there anything else you'd like to add at all? 
I appreciate you guys stopping by and, and asking questions, really. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, how Cisco has been deploying SD-WAN in their own infrastructure using Viptela and a combination of, obviously, really great routers, I'm assuming, from Cisco. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Anthony. It was a pleasure, man. Thank you, Jake. Jacob Hess here. Thank you guys for viewing the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I'd also like to remind you that if you're truly serious about your career in information technology, be sure to check out our Career Blueprint and Engineer Training Program at www.zerotoengineer.com.